Alright, boys, boys and girls, boys and girls, Yodi Slay here. Major I'm gonna uh, have a little uh, live commentary while I do this uh, uh, achievement for you from Black the Ops. Point. It's the uh, where you gotta kill the Pentagon thief before he steals the package or the loadout or whatever it's called. It's in the uh, Nazi Zombies map five. Uh, you can either get by uh, get to this by using the code from the terminal or uh, beating the campaign. Uh, what you want to do at the beginning of this is uh, make sure you get this quick revive. That's key to the whole uh, this whole method. Uh, this first level, it's not too hard. Um, you just want to knife the zombies. It's worth 130 points to knife. Headshots are worth 100, so it's uh, a lot better to knife them. You know, just be careful. Go in, stick, get away, stick, back up. You know how it is. So, uh... Yeah, this, it's a pretty easy achievement. Uh, I didn't find this method. I actually seen this method on BoobTube. And I'm bored, so I figured I'd do a video for all my subscribers. Uh, in case you haven't seen it, in case you're wondering, I have been questioned how to get it uh, by friends of mine on Xbox Live. So we'll just post this and uh, show everybody how to do that. At the beginning of the second level, you can knife. It takes two knives in the second level to kill a zombie. I go ahead and buy this M14 just in case things get a little overwhelming. I've got more than just this pistol. Um, either go for the knives or for the headshots. Um, it's two knives. Be careful trying to knife them through the window like this because they can reach through and hit you. And I mean, some of them will double pump and put you down. So just watch what you do, you know, just like I'm doing here, swipe back up. And just, you know, it's not too hard. You guys, I'm sure, played zombies as much as I have, so you know how it is. We're gonna get some headshots. Oh, look at that there. Didn't mean that, but this is my little boy's account. I've already got a thousand gamer score for this game. But, uh, for the sake of the video, I'm on his account. Just to, uh, get, you, get this video up for you guys that are questioning this and not sure how to do it. And I'm sure you guys, out some of you out there might be like, man, dude, just get on with it and show me how to do this shit. You know, I I like showing the whole key because there are people out there that still will be confused if I do fast forward and tell you to do this. So I'll let them watch the whole thing. I'll put in the description um, exactly what to do if, uh, you know, you don't want to watch this whole video or if you want to skip forward to get to certain parts. But, uh... Round three, be a little more careful. I'm being a little careless. I shouldn't really be knifing them. Uh, you know, they can put me down pretty easy. But uh, I'll get some headshots now since it's double, double the points. Um, after the, when this round's over, I think I'm gonna. Uh, I'll be, I think I'll be all right. Welcome to the gun show. Um, just trying to concentrate on getting some headshots here. I'm going to leave this zombie here, chilling here for a second. While I go, I might have enough points to do it already, I'm not sure. You want to open this door, 750. No, I don't. Open the debris to the elevator here. That's basically a fallback, because in this last one, level four, you're going to want to kind of funnel this way. And you can actually take the elevator down for 250 if you were to get, you know, rushed. So that's a good fallback, but I'm gonna go ahead and kill this guy and make this video a little bit more, you know, not carried on any longer. So you need, before you go down this elevator, you want 2,750 points. Uh, don't, don't go down with any less. You can go down with more, that's fine. Have at least 2,750 points uh, for this all to work. All right, I'm gonna be doing a little dodgeball maneuvers in this round right here until I get 2,750 points. I'm going to try to do my best to not screw this up. You just want to be careful, you know, of your surroundings. You get them before they come in the windows if you can. Yeah, see, you can kind of just do what I'm doing. Shoot, run, run around. 
stuff like that. That guy back there to the right, I think I'm going to leave him because you want to leave one alive. And we're going to have plenty of points. I just got to make sure I live right here. All right, we got... Yeah, I'm going to leave that slow one to the right. I ain't going to try to get him for crawler because he might die or something. So I'm going to keep getting these points too. Just in case I need some. I'd, I'd say these are probably the last three for this level. All right, I think we're good. I got my 2,750 points, so I'm going to go down the elevator here. He'll, he will come down there and try to break in the windows down there, so be ready. You know, be on guard. You know, don't fool around. Take too long because he might sneak in behind you. Probably not, but you want to clear these debris. Clear the debris, the debris to this elevator. Take it down to the third floor. The third floor is where the power, you turn on the power. Take the uh, hallway to the first T, go left, and the door to the first right, turn on the power. We got the power on. You've got to have the power on for this dude to show the professor. So take the elevator back up to the uh, second floor. And once you get here, he will appear in this little red portal thing, whatever that's called. So, uh... You want to make sure this elevator is open because you're actually going to want to start right here. Uh, he, when he, the level he's going to appear, you will hear an alarm uh, that he's appearing. So hopefully he will appear right now so I can oh, tell you exactly what door. to do. Alright, he's not appearing. So we're going to have to freaking go up here. And give me a better gun, and I'm up to survive this round for you to do it. And which yes, shouldn't be too so hard. I have to go That's fight gotta now. be safe. I like to get up on this top thing here and just run a circle around it. It ain't too hard. Just keep moving. Is my my you know the main key to this? Just don't sit still too long because then you can get cornered. Oh, snappage. But I got screwed these chairs at the corner, man. I'm not worried about the headshots at this point. I'm just worried about look, surviving to show you guys how to do this. So, uh, yeah, we're in a predicament here, buddy. I think we'll be all right. Right. Oh, I didn't know there was a nukage over there. If I'd known that was there. Oh, shit. Uh, people who like this thing will find this is the sort of thing they like. There's a catch, isn't there? Alright, I think we're good. We're gonna go down here to the elevator and get ready for him. Hopefully, he'll show up this round. I don't see why he didn't show up last round, but we'll get these guys and then fall back in here and I'll show you what, what's going to happen. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Tell me something. All right, here's know. what I'm sure he's going to show up. All right, there's the alarm. Cook the grenade to kill yourself as soon as you hear the alarm. You'll drop in last stand and you'll have upgraded pistols to shoot grenades. Just light him up. Easy enough. Now, I'm sorry this video took so long to show you how to do all this, but, uh, you know, a lot of people were asking. I could have made it a lot shorter and fast forwarded, but for the benefit of the people that get a little confused, there you guys have it. I'm going to end it now because it's already probably pissing you guys off, but thank you guys for watching. This has been Yodi Slayer. Remember to rate and subscribe. Yodi, signing out.